is big right now in the hosta world. And if you want to be part of the scene, you should consider planting miniature hostas. And I'm here at Ryman Gardens with Dr. Richard Gladden from ISU. And Richard, exactly what is a miniature hosta? Miniature hostas will only grow about six to eight inches high at maturity mm -hmm. and about the same width uh, uh, at maturity also. Wow, so why should you consider a miniature versus just a regular hosta? Well, one of the advantages of miniatures and one of the reasons why they're so popular now is the fact that in place of one very large perennial plant in, the, in a Midwest garden, you can replace that with six or eight or maybe even ten different hostas which will give a wide range of colors and variegation patterns. Hmm. All right. Now, what cultivars would you recommend that we plant? Well, my recommendation, uh, my first recommendation would be one for blue mouse ears. Blue mouse ears will be the hosta of the year for 2008. Okay. It is blue as the name indicates. Another, a close relative of it is green mouse ears, which as the name indicates is green. Uh, we have a number of cultivars that are gold colored, and we have a number of cultivars that are variegated with patterns with white in the center of the leaf and white on the outside of the leaf. All right, now are they just as easy to grow? They're very, very easy to grow. The, the hosta is a perennial that's very low maintenance and often people can set them in their garden and will not have to do much maintenance with them for a period of time. All right, well that sounds great. Thanks Richard. And if you would like more information on miniature hostas, be sure to log on to gardeninginthezone.com. I'm Liz Gelman.